Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be trying to fix up this, this old game here, cue ball. Look at Alex Higgins in his prime. Unfortunately Alex is no longer with us. He was known as the Hurricane, a really, really interesting player. Now I bought it off eBay for £12 and it's not working. Apparently I haven't put any batteries in or tried it yet. But it says here 1980s vintage game not working read so let's go down and see what it says and it says not working unsure why it's not switching on maybe somebody can fix it so it's been priced accordingly see photographs blah 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 game is in good cosmetic condition just isn't turning on so let's uh, open it up and see what's going on with it now this is going to be a tea break repair I hope. So uh, people ask me how do I know if it's a tea break repair or trying to fix. I don't. It's just that I know something like this should be easier to fix than something like a laptop. So this would lend itself more to a tea break repair because it could be something simple. It could be just battery corrosion or a faulty switch. Obviously if it's something major and I've got to get down into the component level of it then unfortunately it would have been suited to a trying to fix video but I just have to heavily edit it just like lots of other YouTubers. Loads of videos are 10 to 15 minutes long. They just heavily edit it to get it down to that length because it's, a, it's an easy watchable length for most people. So uh, yeah but let me just quickly show you around the box. It says oh well pause the video go get yourself a nice drink come back and hopefully over the next 10 or 15 minutes we'll get this working. So uh, it says here it's great even faster than I am because Alex Higgins was a particularly quick player. That's why he was interesting. He was nicknamed Hurricane for his incredibly fast breaking. Started playing snooker when he was age 10. At the age of 18, he won the Irish Amateur Snooker Championship, the first of many successes. He was the youngest ever player to win world championships and has made more than 3,000 centuries, including five maximum in his career so far because obviously he was still uh, like uh, in the peak of his career, I think, at this stage here. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it there. It is in good condition. It's nice to have the box as well. It says Pally Toy down here, but then it says Palletronics, which I haven't seen right on the button. I've never seen that logo before. I've seen Pally Toy, but I've never seen that bottom bit there. But it looks like you've got three different games, and it says uh, you need six HP7 batteries. Not sure what HP7 batteries are. But let's. Uh... Oh, look at that. It's got a. Uh... A signature here underneath Alex Higgins, D. Hartley. And he's been practicing his signature here as well. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to add to the history there. All right, so here it is. And we have a, an insert, which is still in perfect condition. Oh, look at that. Even on the back there. He signed it everywhere. David Hartley. Imagine if he watched this video. Let me know, obviously, if, uh, if you have watched this video. Maybe you might like to be reunited with your toy here. Now, that's if I can fix it. Bank shot. To select a game, press select score until desired number of lights appear. Straight pull, solitaire, two player, poison pull, trick shots. Hmm, seems very complicated. On off switch, I was gonna say headphone jack, but I presume that must be a power jack. Right, it takes six, well, they must be AA batteries. Let's get some. Battery compartment looks pretty clean. HP7, I've never known these to be anything other than double A's or AA. Right, on. Yeah, it certainly is dead. Right, okay, brilliant. I love it when things are faulty. Nothing worse than buying something faulty when it works. Now, first things first, let's see if we've got voltage on the metal contacts here. So let's go to volts DC. Oh, nine volts. Oh, it's there to there. Hold on, would it be there to there? No, here to here. Well, we know the battery contacts are okay because look, I'm on the actual metal itself and we've got 9.7 volts and these are 1.5 each. 1.5 times six is gonna be nine, but each battery is gonna be a little bit higher than 1.5 volts probably because they're brand new. So they might be like 1.6 volts. 1.6, right, that's great news. So now, it's gonna be more interesting than just faulty battery contacts. Let's take this apart see if we can find out what's going on with it. Nice massive screws here. Looks like it might have a speaker as well. Do you know, I haven't watched snooker for years, but I'm just thinking. I don't remember seeing like American players. Is snooker a thing in America or is it just like a, a more, you know, UK and Irish thing? Must be worldwide, surely. 
Right, okay. Well, that's not a good start. Look at a power jack here. It's not even on the board. Whoa, look at the inside here. This is a lot more interesting than I thought. Look at all the resistors and the transistors. What is going on here? Well, the wires are intact. That looks all clean. So we have got a speaker here. And what have we got here? Look at this. Okay, that could do for a bit of a clean. Look at this board here. That's unusual. Uh, is it just it's just gonna be LEDs under there, isn't it? Or some sort of lights. Rather than the display as such. Okay. So what's that? That's just like a ribbon cable, but a metal one. This is very unusual. And we've got a, a, a capacitor, but it's an axle one, isn't it? And look at the end there. That looks a little bit different than normal. I wonder what voltage that is. It's a 100 microfarad. I can't see the voltage on it, though. Right, okay. Well, why is that taken off there? So has somebody done some work in here already? Or has it just broken off? No, I think it's just broken off there. That wouldn't stop it from working though, would it? Oh, actually, maybe it would stop it from working if it's one of those ones, you know, where it has to be making a contact in order to pass the signal through. And then when you put the jack in, it takes the power straight from here because otherwise you're gonna be putting power back through the batteries. So maybe that's our problem there. Let's, uh, let's see, let's zoom in. Go there. So let's see if the switch is working to begin with. So, where's it gonna go off? Here and here? There and not there, yep. And now turn it to here and then it's gonna go Where's that going now? There to there, yeah. So in that position, it's here to here. And in this position, it's here to here. So that looks like it's working. So now, I don't really know what's on and off, but look, well, that's off, isn't it? Because that contact's not going anywhere unless it's on the opposite side of the board, which I don't think it is because look, this is all through hole. So can you see there's no actual circuit on this side of the board? It's just the components. So uh, it's all here. Uh, so what we're doing is by turning it on, we're connecting this track here to this track here. Now look, it doesn't go anywhere, does it? Yep, it goes up here to here, and then I presume the jack then must either connect it to this one or this one, but there is no jack to connect, and that's the reason it's not turning on. Now I wonder, is the jack actually working? Uh, let's have a look, see if we can get any continuity through it. Oh, so there's nothing there. How about here and here? Ah, oh, no. Nah. How about here and here? Oh, that's not good. Well, that's a shame. So it looks like the... Oh, here we go. Yes, it is there. It's there. There and there. Bit hit and miss. I think it's just my uh, probes are not on it very well. So then when you put something into it, that should break that one there, shouldn't it? So when we plug this in here, we shouldn't have continuity on the back two. And we haven't. Now unplug it and we should have continuity on the back two. And we have, excellent, the middle pin and this must be the outer one, which it is. Perfect, there's nothing wrong with that jack. Right, let's get that soldered back in. Look at that, this must be leaded solder, it's just coming off straight away. Oh, look at that, lovely. There we go. Now hopefully these are still gonna be long enough. They are long enough. Just putting the screwdriver on there to put some more pressure on it, to stick it up higher. <laughs> My solder ran away. There we go. 
I'm just flooding the whole pad. There's massive pads on these. I'm trying to put quite a lot into the actual hole to get it to go through because there's not really much off the leg sticking out to grip onto. There we go. And I'm just going to clean it up with some IPA. Now I'm not going to clean up any of the buttons because they all look like they're still under the sellotape, tape and uh, they look to be okay. So it might have other faults but this was definitely the fault. So uh, let's see, put it back together and see if it's going to work. Right, so that is it in there isn't it? Just rest like that. So we want the angle aim and cue to be that way. So it needs to go on this way. You're gonna go. I know the buttons are gonna go in the wrong position, aren't they? Yes, it's a bit of luck. Right, here goes. Da, 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 da. Yes, brilliant. Oh, red light, red light flashing here. Right, I've been messing with it and I've kind of got to grips with it. Now, uh, so I'm just gonna try to pot a couple of balls and we'll leave it at that. So to change the game, we need to go to select and that's how you change between the four games. So go to there. Now, if you hold down this button, it makes a, uh, a different sort of noise. And basically, the more you hold it down, the harder you're going to hit the ball. So check this out. I am going to, uh, you can aim like this, and then you can do angles by doing this. Yeah. So I'm going to go there, and then it's going to, I presume, go a little bit more to that way there. Now I need to queue up, and that will pull the queue back. And then let's hold it down as hard as we can. And you see now, can you see how far it went? Did I pop one? No, I didn't pop one. Right, so now, if I was to hit this one here, it may, I wonder, would it hit that one there? So, do our angle. There, you can see it moving around. Am I going to put any angle on this one? No, I don't think I am. And again, I'm going to whack it. Cue up, and... Well, actually, no, let's do a medium hit. Yeah. Ah, I didn't go in. Right, okay, let's do that again. I'm trying to get this one in here. Let's do angle there so that's going to hit it that side isn't it so it should then bang off there and go in queue up ah oh, come on right so i just need to tap it in there oh mind you i have been potting balls i didn't even see any of the others go in let's go to uh so now obviously if i hit it right the way in the white ball is going to go in so let's just tap it queue up what what did I do wrong there? It is actually quite a good game. I potted it, but you can see I almost potted the white ball. Look at that to finish on. Lovely. Brilliant. What a nice little fun game, a perfect tea break repair in my opinion there. So somebody must have had the adapter in and then they whacked it, which broke that off and from then on it stopped working. Obviously you would have had to have a soldering iron in order to fix it again. I loved it. Hope you did too. I will see you all very soon. Thanks so much for watching.